Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm doing this set of acrylics using soft lemon and dried flowers. All ready for spring. So I'm using Fantasy and Soft Lemon from CJP. So I'm starting on this pinky finger, so I'm going in with CJP Soft Lemon near that free edge, just to make sure that's nice and opaque, and then blending that up. And then going in with another bead and then blending that up again. So I just want to make sure that these are fully opaque. This finger is a full yellow nail so I do apply a tiny bit of gold glitter to this in a minute. So again, I'm just applying that as thin as I can, but making sure that, that it is really opaque and not patchy. So I've just got a really fine glitter and I'm just tapping that all over this nail as I didn't want a full glitter nail so I didn't go mad for a change. This finger is the dried flowers so I'm going in with soft lemon near that cuticle and blending that down. I'm then going to pick up one of the flowers, which are pretty chunky, I've got to say. And I just wanted to try it to see how easy it was to encapsulate something that's pretty chunky. So I've applied that flower on and just, just using my fingers, I'm holding that down to stick that into the acrylic. As you can see, it's still popping up, but I do just keep going in and just gently pressing it with my fingers to hold that down. So on that free edge, I've just added a small bead of acrylic, clear acrylic, and stuck half of one of these flowers on. And then I'm just going in with that gold glitter around that, them flowers. Okay, I'm just gonna now it's setting. I'm just gonna hold them petals down again, to stick into that acrylic. So on this finger again, this is an ombre. So I've applied that yellow to that free edge, and then just blending that up towards the cuticle. this pinky I'm just going in now with fantasy from CJP and just putting that near the cuticle area and blending that down to do an ombre so I'm just going in with a bit more of that le lemon yellow and blending that up to make that blend a little bit better so I'm just patting that to thin that out and make the ombre blend better so I'm doing the same on this finger
So I'll just try to find my scissors at this minute. So I'm just going to take some small scissors and just trim some of those petals that are overhanging because I want a bit of space at the side so that the acrylic can attach itself to the acrylic underneath to make it a bit better, stronger. So I'm going in with wet beads now so that it can soak in through the petal leaves. So I'm just patting that onto that nail. <coughs> God, I feel lousy today. So now I'm going to go in and cap this nail. So I've applied that bead near the cuticle. And then I'm just patting and pressing that down the rest of the nail. So I'm, as you can see, I'm spending a bit more time on them sides to make sure that everything's stuck down nice and attached. I'm just going to go in with some more beads where I need it. So once I've done this nail, I do cap the rest of these and I will be back for filing. So normal filing routine is side walls free edge and then starting around that cuticle so when you're doing this as you can see there are a few petals that are still poking out which will obviously get filed off but it, it won't make no difference to this nail So once I've got that cuticle, I go down the middle of the nail with my file and then just refine the rest of the nail completely. So once I'm happy with that, I do go ahead and file the rest of these nails and I will be back for top coat. So I'm just going in with a no white top coat on these nails. I do add a few crystals to this dried flower nail around that cuticle in a tiara. But you've seen me do that loads of times, so I didn't think you'd need to see that again. So once I have top coated these, I do put these into the lamp for a minute. And then this will be the finished set of nails. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.